hello good afternoon today i will show you how to do curve fitting with genuplot so in our real life experiments we can have a lot of data and uh, from this data we can just extract some empirical laws uh, which is useful in our uh, science study and uh, not only science study actually in our mm, uh, social um, different uh, social aspects we need some empirical laws in economics also in um, physics in mathematics a lot of uh, things required this data fitting or curve fitting so we have some data with uh, our real experiments or some data taking uh, things so from that data we just uh, use some known function and uh, we use some known function to fit into that data then we can just use that function as our empirical law to work with so here I can just show you here I have this data files this I will work with this uh, data file dot dat okay so now let me just check that what is there in data file dot dat so this is vim editor you can just see that there are three columns okay and these three columns contain some data and we can um, first plot and then we can just fit with some known curve okay so let me start genu plot so now first plot the thing okay plot the data then just think about okay this data can be uh, fit with this curve so let's let let's do this first plot data file dot dat and it is giving something okay but we have um, three columns so in general when you do this it uh, actually take the first two column and plot first column is the x-axis and uh, the second column is the y-axis but if you want to plot the third one let me say with respect to the first column then you have to write using 1 is to 3 that means 1 and 3 1 will be in the x axis and 3 will be the y axis and uh, now you can see this is the thing this is how you are getting the plot okay so this looks like a linear you can just fit a linear curve and then this is uh, this can be fitted with the linear curve so okay and uh, let me just uh, do this y is equals to m into x plus c so this is the equation of line y is equals to mx plus c and i am def i have defined this function to uh, use in my fitting now we have to feed this okay so feed y x then the file name data file dot dat then just write using one to three one colon three and uh, this will fit but there are two parameters which will basically vary and because in this equation this y is equals to mx plus c there are two parameters m and c so the intersection and the slope so we can just vary mm, we, we can just vary these uh, parameters to fit the data with this curve properly suitably so we need to this fitting means we need to choose the parameter well suitably and then uh, we have to write this via m comma c okay so m comma c and uh, that's all now you can check that 
your final set of parameter m is equals to 2.96344 plus minus some error and the c is equals to minus 1.00753 plus minus some error so we have the parameter we have the parameter and uh, also the standard error okay so now let me check that how good the fit is okay to do that we need to plot them together then we can just see that okay the points and the the data points and the fitting curve actually almost okay this is uh, working well they are almost coincide and uh, we can check it by plot them together first plot the function yx with line comma uh, the file data file data file is data file dot dat using one colon three okay and let me do it with points only so with points wp means with points and you can see that uh, this fits well so let me just um, um, increase the line width then it will be let me make it to line width lw means line width and uh, here also let me do this So now you can see it is this uh, cross green crosses are the data point and um, this purple uh, line uh, smooth line is the fitted line and you can see that it is almost uh, saying that uh, it is fits it, it fits well actually you can check that so one can say that instead of this data you can just use this linear formula for the for the expression what you were thinking of and uh, this is your empirical formula that uh, um, 2.96 multiplied by x minus 1 so this kind of formula you can just use in some cases this slope actually uh, tells the some physical quantity uh, suppose something is uh, actually varying with some power law then you can just plot uh, these things this data uh, with uh, log log graph and then you can just find the exponent the uh, power law actually you can calculate from the log log curve and from the slope of the linear feet so these are some usefulness of curve fitting a lot of wide use of uh, curve fitting is there and uh, do it for your own problem on research work or maybe in your master's work or something like that and uh, thank you